What's up guys? My name is M. It's Friday. It's fantastic. And I hope your day is going to go or has gone as fantastic as mine is today. I finally crumpled to the weight of quarantine and bought a semi, uh, how should I put this, realistic henna kit. The henna kit that I bought, um, the henna doesn't come in like a powder like it usually does. It came in these pre-packaged bottles and it was slightly a little bit more um, synthetic feeling, <laughs> but it still came out all right. There were some different textures we encountered in here. This brown was very liquidy, uh, more so than the black and the red. The red was pretty hard to get out actually and the entire time my hands were shaking like crazy and I felt, <laughs> I felt like something was wrong with me because I draw all the time and I, I'm usually steady handed but these squeezing maybe my, my grip is not strong squeezing because <laughs> my lines didn't turn out as straight as I wanted them to but that's okay I had a lot of fun drawing on my hand um, it came out pretty cool and I loved the experience I didn't break out I did test uh, on my thumb before I went in and did my whole hand I didn't have an allergic reaction thank goodness because <clears throat> that's just $17 down the drain if I did but uh yeah i just went crazy using all the colors and uh drawing on my hand it was a lot of fun it was very relaxing and i hope you guys enjoy so as i was going through these stickers as you can see right there they're all pretty basic until you get to the louis vuitton the louis vuitton the Louis symbol and I thought that was pretty cool that they <laughs> included that in this otherwise generic um they're not stickers they're stencils my bad otherwise generic uh stencils that they have I didn't use any of these although I probably should have um it turned out well <laughs> not as not as pre-planned and thought out I didn't want to do any uh actual henna patterns and signs that kind of just went in off the top of my head that's okay you know it was really fun and relaxing and um made me a little bit happier because you know the world's crumbling outside and i'm just sitting in my house staining my hand with tiny bottles uh but the colors turned out very well so Left behind memory that I couldn't keep on my vinyl If Fred I did you be mine so it's sad and I really don't want to mess it up with you you're my final gotta fix it out feeling and chasing to see beyond doubt and gotta be a fool to search beside you gotta fix it out feeling and chasing to see beyond doubt and Gotta be a fool to search beside you
So on the little card in the beginning, it says to leave it on for about 30 minutes, which is what I did for the three test lines. And that amount of evenly distributed line of synthetic henna works pretty good. Um, but my whole hand, there were some places where I put a lot that needed to dry a little bit longer, like the flower and stuff. Um, so I actually left it on for maybe like two hours. I really didn't count. I just kind of did other stuff. Um, but it was super satisfying to peel off the crusty outside. <laughs> that kind of sounds really gross. Um, and the part where it went towards my arm. I have a lot of arm hair. Don't judge. No shame. And it kind of pulled at it and it really hurt. So if you guys get the same kit, um, I, I do recommend it for the color factor and the no mess factor. But if you have arm hair or any place you want to put this that is hairy, I recommend shaving it. It's going to save you a lot of pain. Thanks for watching guys.